Isometric Projection. In this video, we will learn how to construct an isometric view of an object using its orthographic projections. Instruction will be given as follows. Construct an isometric view from the given orthographic projections. We need to construct an isometric view by looking at these figures. We will be solving this problem using the first angle method. According to the first angle method, this top figure will be the front view of the object, and the bottom figure will be the top view of the object. Before starting construction, we need to first draw the isometric axis. The isometric axis consists of the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. The x and z-axis will be 30 degrees from the horizontal, and the y-axis will be perpendicular to the horizontal. Let's start drawing. Take a ruler and draw a horizontal line. Consider a center point on this horizontal line, and label it as O. After this, with the help of a protractor, construct the isometric axis. Mark a point at 30 degrees from both sides, and also mark the point at 90 degrees. After this, using these points as a reference, draw the lines from center point O. This line will be the x-axis, this will be the y-axis, and this line will be our z-axis. We can see the x and z-axis are inclined at 30 degrees, and the y-axis is at 90 degrees. These axes are called the isometric axis. Now we can draw the isometric view on this axis. Before drawing, an important thing which we have to remember is that, when we draw the three-dimensional view of the object, the maximum edges of the object should be visible. For example, consider this object, if we look at this object from this angle, we can see only a few edges. If we rotate this object and look at this from this angle, we can see more details. Therefore, we need to carefully select whether to draw the front view of the object facing on the XY plane or YZ plane. Consider this given figure. By looking at these two views, you need to imagine the object. When you see this object from the front, this is how it looks, and when you see it from the top, this is how it looks. We can see this object as symmetrical, that is the left side of the object is the mirror image of the right side. In this case, you can draw the front view on any plane. Let's first understand how this object looks in an isometric view. Consider this front view on this XY plane. This is how it looks. By looking at the top view, we can see the front view is just extruded by 30 millimeters. This is how this object will look in an isometric view. This is the front view. And this is the top view, which is given at the bottom. Let's start drawing. We will name the edges of this front view for our convenience. P, Q, R, and S. Let's start drawing. We will draw the front view of the object facing on an XY plane. Therefore while drawing, we will consider this left edge point of the figure as at this intersection point. Therefore, label this intersection point as P. Consider this XY plane. On this plane, we will draw the front view of this object. Initially, we will draw a rough outline of this front view on this plane. We can see the height of this object in the front view is 40 millimeters. Take a roller scale and mark a point on the y-axis at 40 millimeters from the bottom. We can see the total width of this object as 60 millimeters. Mark a point on this x-axis at 60 millimeters from point P. Label this point as Q. We can see this shape as a rectangle. Therefore, using the roller scale and taking this vertical line as a reference, draw a 40 millimeters vertical line from this point Q. After this, using the x-axis as a reference, join these points. This is only the outline of the front view on an xy plane. After this, we can draw the outline representing the top view. If we view the object from the top, then these S and R points will be here. So we will label these points as S and R. We can see from this point S, the object length is 30 millimeters. That means, from this point S, we need to draw a 30 millimeters line parallel to the Z axis. Draw another 30 millimeters line parallel to the Z axis from this point. At the end, join these two points. This is the outline for the top view. After this, we will draw a vertical line of 40 millimeters from this point, since the object's height is 40 millimeters. After this, join these endpoints. This is the outline for the side view of the object. 
since there is no side view of the object provided in orthographic projections, that means there are no additional details visible from the side view. Therefore, we can darken these lines, because this is how it will look at the end. After this, we can start drawing the details visible in the front view. We need to draw this slot on the front view plane. We can see the distance from point S is 20 millimeters. Therefore, draw a dark line of 20 millimeters from point S. After this, we can see there is a 10 millimeters depth in this slot. Therefore, draw a 10 millimeters vertical line from this point. As we can see, the width of this slot is 20 millimeters. Therefore, draw a 20 millimeters line which is parallel to the x axis. After this, draw a 10 millimeters vertical line. And at the end, join these points with a line. This is the final front view on the XY plane. After this, we can start drawing the details visible in the top view. We can see this top view of the object is made up of three sections, which represent these three sections on the front view. The length of the vertical lines is 30 millimeters, and the width of these sections is 20 millimeters. Therefore, using a roller scale draw the parallel lines to the z-axis from these points. And these lines will be 30 millimeters in length. We can see this slot is throughout the object. Therefore, we need to draw a 10 millimeters vertical line from this point and join these points with a line. After this, draw a parallel line to the x-axis from this point, up to here. At the end, we need to darken the required visible lines. This is the final required isometric view of the object. You can remove the labeling, since it was only provided for our convenience to draw. If you like this video, click on the like button and if you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications to get my all latest videos.